were sitting here at 4.30 in the afternoon kind of saying, oh, where's everybody? And then 5 o'clock, absolute magic happened. I am so happy. Uh, there were more people that showed up in the last uh, 24 hours of sending me emails saying they're coming and all this. And, and Rich, or Rick Musto also got those emails. It was just totally fabulous. And everybody says, oh my goodness, I didn't realize LPA knew the same people we knew. It was just like, wow. You know, it was just a wow event for us. This is, we're in the historic Wonder Red building, uh, built in the 1890s. I think this particular middle chunk of the building is 1924 or something like that. Can you tell me a little bit about this building and what it means now to have a building like this, a very historic space, uh, tracking LEED Platinum now? LEED Platinum. Did not know that, Rochelle. Did not know that LEED Platinum. Yeah, it is incredible. Because, uh, again, I like the fact that it seems like it's kept a lot of the, what the Wonder Bread um, building used to look like. And again, you, I mean, you're looking at the roof, you've seen a lot of some of the old stuff that's still there. I mean, you're not covering up uh, the wood that's that's there. I mean, you can kind of tell the historic significance there. I mean, I love out here. You, I wish it was kind of a little, like a patio area. I mean, I, I love that. Beautiful view of Petco Park. I mean, you did, because uh, from my understanding, it was always open, and you guys didn't close that up. I mean, you, you left it open, I mean, which is, I mean, Duck. So Erica is on Fox here in San Diego and she was kind enough to come tonight. So can you give me some of your observations about our space and the firm and anything else that kind of you feel like sharing? You know, I, I'm really impressed by the space here. I mean, walking in, I, I've never been in the building before and I actually didn't even realize there was an upstairs. I was looking for you and somebody <laughs> said, she's upstairs. I'm like, there's an upstairs. But it's really impressive and beautiful and very, I feel like it's clean, but the space has been used really, really wisely. As you can tell, I mean, there's the the office area over here and it feels like every kind of little nook and cranny has been used and I love the fact that you know you pointed out that this area behind us here was I guess a wheat silo that's been repurposed so it lets the light in it lets the area in but yet you've also got sort of a, a desk area a sitting area people are down there eating their uh, little snacks down there and drinking their wine and it's really a cool innovative use of what was already there and I really love that I appreciate that using what you have wisely and yeah. reusing like the Wonder Bread building here 1890s we just reused as much as possible you can see over here at the desk original piece here we kept up some of the signage whatever we love could that. get mileage out of LPA you know we're all about sustainability we love to do this with our spaces to show clients that we walk the walk in our own work life can you tell me about this space kind of your thoughts your reactions to it well, you know, I grew up here. I was born and raised in San Diego, so I know about the Wonder Bread factory or whatever we call this facility. And when I walk in and see what they have maintained from it, I am just awestruck, and it's really wonderful. And of course, what we're looking at in our libraries is sustainability as well. So having that happen here for us to see, including the way the furniture is set up in terms of modular and so forth, it's a lesson for us in terms of how, how nice it can look. The reason why we moved here was for this, uh, to be part of this emerging kind of opportunity in San Diego. Uh, just imagine what the East Village is going to be in the next five to ten years. It could be just, uh, we want to be part of that.